The following program is rated TV MALV. It contains strong language and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. It is finally time to get extreme! And we're gonna kick it off here the most extreme way we know how with absolute carnage in the form of the Cage of Death! Yeah, the Cage of Death is back for the third time here in GCW and for the first time ever the GCW Tag Team Championships will be on the line inside of it. And here comes the champs themselves! The Brothers of Destruction who laid waste to the Judgment Day this past WrestleMania! Jeff Hardy out with an injury from that very moment as Edge is trying to turn over a new leaf here in GCW. Speaking of somebody who grinds my gears, Roman Reigns and his pathetic bloodline have made my cousin's life a living hell. But that is for later. Right now, the Usos are looking to reclaim the Tag Team Championships they've lost so long ago by beating the Brothers of Destruction and everyone else who comes in their way. Yeah, but here comes another team that recently made their debut here in GCW. Now these guys have a bone to pick with the Usos themselves. As you remember, they had a triple threat tag team match to crown the number one contender. The Usos gave them a pretty hard time during that match, but now it all comes full circle once again for the goal. An underrated match from WrestleMania 11, in my opinion, as we're expecting the final team to enter the cage of death. They are the favorite to win this matchup here tonight as they were so close to taking down the Brothers of Destruction on GCW Live. They came up short, but now it's time to gain all the marbles here from all four of these teams. Yeah, quick start right into yeah. the match. Oh, huge blockbuster from Oh! Moxley oh. with the suplex slam! The X-Plex! Onto that barbed wire cage wall! That was a beautiful counter by Moxley using the momentum as Jay and Brian Danielson are fighting up in the cage of death. Snake eyes by Undertaker. Oh my god, he just leaps into the bodies of John Moxley and one of the Usos. I forgot which one it was. Oh yeah, it was Jay, alright. Jimmy now. We're gonna put the punishment onto Kane with that splash in the corner. John Moxley ducks. Huge back suplex right on the neck. But now, Jay Briscoe up top. He's looking to do something drastic. Or never mind. John Moxley looks to beat him in the middle. Or meet him up top, rather. Yeah, two very hard hitters as we see. As there comes Danielson. And oh, oh. Put him in a superplex from that high. That could be catastrophic here. It would be. Oh, but Mark able to save his brother. And Jay Briscoe able to land a brain buster on the top of that structure. And now The Undertaker looking to take Jay Uso for a ride. Oh, but Wait, Jay. Jay. Climbing up top. The Undertaker catches the super kick from Jimmy. And there comes Kane. 
Chokeslam onto the barbed wire cage. Oh. oh my god! What a nasty landing there by Jimmy Uso! Courtesy of the big red monster! Yeah, landed bat there on the neck. Now it seems Jey Uso is helpless up there. I mean, he's got weapons. He does, but look at what is going Risco on here. Looking to take advantage of that fact as Mark goes up top. This is way too dangerous. No, and no, then no. again, what else can you expect from a cage of freaking death? I know, but just look at how high he is. He's over the crowd. How high he is! Oh, oh my god! Huge elbow drop from the top of the cage, through the table, through Moxley. Is there anything the Briscoes won't do to gain that tag team goal? I don't think so. They've proven themselves here in GCW. And Mark Briscoe always in for some crazy stuff. Yeah, I think it's safe to say Mox is out of the equation for a while. Oh. And now what Mark Briscoe looking to take out the other member of the Blackpool Combat Club. Oh what? My goodness gracious! Don't say the vice! And Brian Danielson just fell to his freaking death! Yeah, how fitting that we are inside of the cage of death. And this gotta be it. This gotta be it. Oh, oh my God! Laying it all on the line to save the matchup for his team. Yeah, I mean this was the only way he could have saved it, and he hurt himself doing it. Oh, a huge uppercut by Jey Uso. Kane is stunned. Looking for another super kick, but Kane caught him with the choke slam attempt here. What's he gonna do? Oh, no. oh my god, from that high! No freaking way! Oh! oh! Jey Uso able to counter with that DDT! That was important. Kane is down. The Undertaker! What the hell is going on here? I have no idea. And Edge seems to be just as confused as I am as Luchasaurus lays out Kane with the choke slam! Never in all my days would I have imagined Luchasaurus being in a GCW arena! Yeah, me neither, and Edge doesn't seem happy. You know, he wanted to turn back to a better self, but Christian Cage seems to force his hand. Now, oh my god! No, no, come on, come on! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. as we are by all of this. some dessert. I am. So am I. Me too. Count me in. Me as well. Did someone say dessert? Bag. Oh, oh my, my freaking, freaking gosh. gosh. Not, Not again. again. Oh dear. Here we go again. Give me the muffin muffins. Where's the bloody marshmallow? Ice cream bowl. Get the pancake mixture. Are you up for the challenge, Zed? You don't have to ask me twice. Let's go for it. Oh no! What's wrong, Irene? Nice shots, John and Zed. What the heck 
just happened? And where do those obsessions go? <laughs> oh no. The obsession girls are crying. I've never heard anyone crying very hard before. I wonder why. Let's go inside. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, what's the matter and what of all the tears going down your eyes? Can you please tell us what is wrong? <laughs> fa 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 fire. We're so freaking scared of fire. Wait a minute. You four are scared of fire? Yes, bestie. <laughs> now I see why. Fire can make pancakes and cupcakes overcooked when they leave them for a long time, melt ice cream when exposed to extreme heat, and cook marshmallows while camping. We don't like fire! We really don't like fire! We don't want to get burned on fire! No worries, ladies. We are both aware that John and Zed are firing their superpowers at the dummies, and- <laughs> Audience! This isn't the right time to laugh! We're in the middle of dealing with those four obsession girlies here. Sorry. Don't cry, girls. There has to be a way to get rid of your pyrophobia. What happened, girlies? What's been making you so the opposite of happy? Well, you see, Harry and I found out that Molly, of Holly, Irene, and Marlene have pyrophobia. Wait, the four obsession girls have pyrophobia? That's right. Jenny. And they notice John and Zed firing their flaming s superpowers at the training dummies. Oshitake, that's not good at all. Are you kidding me? No, Miss M. It's not a joke. You gotta warn John and Zed about this whole thing. We're, We're on it. it. Twelve seconds later. John and Zed, we need to tell you something. Alright, what's up? So apparently, Tootie and Harry found out the obsession girlies are scared of fire. What? Mates, this is not a joke! They're bawling their eyes out for goodness sake! Okay, okay, calm down, Tootie. Aw oh, man. I don't like it when I get busted over something awful. By the looks of it, we advise you two to be careful when you fire your superpowers. You don't want the obsession girlies to be so scared, don't you? What are you talking about? I'm just using my solar blaster to see if my powers are intact. I know that, John. But you should have used your superpower more carefully so that the obsession girls won't run away in fear. Alrighty then, Cedric. I'll set my solar blaster to minimum so that the obsession girls won't get scared. Good. I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't want to lose my crimson flare. It is my superpower and I can use it to kill every troublemaker who gets in my way. Relax, Zed. As Cedric said, you have to use your superpower very carefully, and we don't want the obsession girls to be very afraid. I'll be honest, I get so annoyed when those obsession people are going crazy. You get used to it, Zed. Ah, oh, now that everything is settled, let's give the obsession girly some chocolate milk. Right behind you, Tootie. Let's go. Later, after Miss M, Jenny, Tootie, and Harry gave Molly, Polly, Irene, and Marlene some chocolate milk. Thanks for the chocolate milk, girlies. We feel so much better now. No problem, ladies. Are you not scared of fire now? Not exactly. To be honest with you, we're weak against fire. That's why we don't want to get our asses burned on fire. We understand how you girls are feeling. And I'm very sorry if I used my solar blaster for the wrong purpose. I only did that for our beam training. I did the same thing as John. And, I hate to say this, but I apologize for scaring you with my crimson flare. I didn't realize you four are so afraid of everything fiery. Your apologies are accepted, John and Zed. I would suggest that you girls won't show up whenever we fire our superpowers that are fire-powered. That's a good suggestion, Sir Dak. Now that everything is settled, can we now eat some dessert? Of course, Cedric. And the four girls will pay the tab. Ha 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 ha. God damn it, Wegra! Hello, everyone. 
Hope you don't get tied up in the wall of this episode. Don't worry, we aren't tied up. Today's episode is called Tied Up Issues. Roll credits. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> what the hell, man? No need to yell. Lick center shade. You know he is kidding. Yeah, calm down. Jeez. Go. We're back. I know. Good thing we've got here from the fire, because we're scared of the fire. I saw Stella's video about it. Did I hear that the slushing girls are actually scared of the fire? Uh -huh. What do you mean? Actually? To be honest, they are upset because honestly, they're scared of fire. I know. Me too. Ditto. No kidding. I want to take care of the fears. Can I just chime in here? I hate obsession characters so much. I'm sorry I am saying this, but I dealt with them too many times in videos where I read errors. Sam, don't you do it. Do not deal with the obsession girls. Finally, we agree on something, because I never wanted to deal with them at all. Good idea, Sam. We're good. Is it the cause of anxiety, Sam? For me, yep. Yeah. Take these two people, Bacon and Gold. They are the reason why our studio's budget is rather tight right now. I know Gold has my voice and Hag has Bacon's voice. Uh-huh. It's okay to have my voice. Don't forget me, I also have the same voice as you, Jimmy. Okay, fair enough. I have issues myself, Ellipsis points. My main concern is how long this talking like a lady thing has gone on in my life. Nowadays, I'm not gonna get as angry, because it doesn't annoy me, as it used to. I have the same concern myself. Technically, I've got your same voice, but I'm sappy five. Good voice, Mike and Mike Z. I know, Sam. My anxiety is a huge concern of mine, because back in the original show, I cried because my friends didn't show up at my party. How come? I'm wondering about that too, Mary Why? Long story short. Basically, I was gonna invite Zoe and Dijoni to my party, but they went to La Cienega's party instead. And those gross sisters even showed up. And that <laughs> grossness really made me uncomfortable. This is really getting out of hand. <laughs> but why? Ha. Uh, you said it again. Shut up. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Oh well. Let's not get involved in any arguments, shall we? Okay. Speaking of party, Penny, we've invited you to our New Year's party at Mariana's house tonight. That's marvelous. Hopefully it's an improvement from before. Wait, hold on. Penny got invited to the New Year's party at Mariana's house tonight. Well, why shouldn't I go? How come Penny got invited to the New Year's party at Mariana's house tonight, Carolina? I've sent an invitation using a document that I made on Microsoft Word. Speaking of PBS, I've invited the 1992 PBS ID to the studio. PBS. That's right. What I said on Dave's video is that our evil P head stampedes our logo. Wow. Welcome, my 1992 counterpart. Liu. I've never expected it. But truth be told, he's here. Hello, folks. I'm Bowser from the Mario franchise, which was owned by Nintendo. I'm Yasser, and I bring some of our variants of ours. The rest will appear in the next episode. I'm Dry Bowser. I'm Dry Meowser. I'm Giga Bowser. I'm Giga Meowser. I'm Dry Giga Bowser. I'm Dry Giga Meowser. I'm Dreamy Bowser. I'm Dry Dreamy Bowser. I'm Giga Dreamy Bowser. I'm Dry Giga Dreamy Bowser. I'm Dreamy Meowser. I'm Dry Dreamy Meowser. I'm Giga Dreamy Meowser. I'm Dry Giga Dreamy Meowser. And together, we are the Dozer Team. Geez, that intro for you guys took such a long time, so long that the viewers may have skipped past your long intro. And the cycle f never ends. <laughs> Great. It's our boss. How many Bowser? Okay, gotta calm down. 
No need to panic, Billy Bob. This time, I will not hurt you. I'll become nice. Alright, good. I am glad. Ah, I'm glad our boss is nice now. Well, pretty much. Wow. Good to hear. Uh, guys, I could use little help. Help! Oh, sh Lina, what's the matter? I've got a problem here. My hair is all messy. Don't worry. I'll restyle it for you. How does it look? Much better. Thank you. Something bad is happening here. We must get our majesty, because payback is... Watch your mouth, Cornflakes Chloe! Come on now. This is a TV-14 show, damn it! I'm done with this. Guys, we don't want to cause an argument around here. It bothers me. Sheesh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever you say, we know. Shush the sheesh, us! As I'm finishing my sentence from earlier, how come we are invited to a party including Penny? Probably because the original party didn't turn out well. Indeed! Well, 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 well now, now look, look what, what we, we have now. here. Well, look what we have here, those sh asses again. That's right, fools. We meet again, gross morons. Flattery, flattery, flattery. The reason why we snuck into Penny's party is all because of reasons. Those hemispheres take everything around the devil's lair. And we're not joking with you guys around our premises. And what? Why did Caden give it her a new hairstyle? That's bullshit. So, you three evil sisters are the ones who made Penny upset in the original show. Well... I've had it with you three! Now you're gonna get a piece of your actions! Just try it, you, you moron. This is for making Penny upset and for calling me a moron. Be gone! <laughs> We define you, 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 and we shall not take our fate away from our heroic victims. Touché! God damn it, son of Damn it. Sewer mouths, all of you! You said it! I don't get why those stupid gross sisters always keep causing trouble and being softies. Of course they'll do, Caden. We speculate that we don't go near those blue beaver jackasses. If they show up again, I will burn them alive using my fire breath. All I can think of is that you tried burning Mario with your fire breath in like the Mario games. Okay then, we don't need to talk about that. I get why you're a fan of Mario too, just like Sonic, but still. Since it's a studio, you and Mario will get together again. Well, alright then. Welp, looks like our problems are solved. Help Penny get rid of her anxiety and fix Lina's hair. So I guess I might as well eat at my own restaurant in a fan-made family fun center. Good idea, Caden. But what's it called? I want to know. Me too. What is it called? Rafa City Family Fun Center and Caden's Family Restaurant. I might host my own show like an animatronic band. Oh, group. Well, here we go again. Well, we will see you next time for the next episode of Best Besties. Bye now. Bye, folks. Take it so, let it go, 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 let it go,
Take it slow, let it go, roll down all the windows.